What's going on guys, welcome to this video, I am Black Panther as always and in this video I just thought I'd bring you a quick overview of Overwatch uh, or the Need for Speed network as a whole just so you can get an idea of it if you haven't even played it yet because a lot of people I'm guessing don't even know what it is or even if it exists. So if you didn't know you can get this on iOS and well still not Android so it seems a bit late and they're probably not even going to bother doing it now but uh, you can also get it on the PC which is what I'm using it on right now because I have Android devices as for my mobile. Uh, you, you can go to network.neefspeed.com and that will bring you up to the website. So what you've got here is pretty much a map and the home screen I guess you could say for uh, Need for Speed Rivals uh, network page and you can get all your stats kind of just general information over here and if you wanted to you could zoom in on an event and click it well there you go and you could even set a waypoint to it so what what this would be good for is say if you and your friend are playing the game your friend could pretty much direct you uh, as to where to go uh, when playing on the tablet for example say the iPad or something which would be pretty damn cool and obviously on races and stuff you can see your times and you compare it to your friends and then if I set a waypoint it would then uh, put it in the game for me to uh, go to that waypoint so the reason it's showing me that option to go to the waypoint is because I have my PlayStation 4 on. Uh, so I'm currently in the garage on Rivals, but if I went into Navigator mode, this is what your friend would see on ta the tablet on Navigator mode. So this is what I was talking about, where if I was driving around, you would literally see what is coming up on the road. Uh, you can tell me when the next repair shop is, the next hideout is. So obviously, it doesn't really... It's not really a game changer, but you can have this on in the background to kind of give yourself an idea of what's coming up next. I don't mainly uh, use it that much, but I'm sure if you had a friend with you, it would be extremely useful. I may actually start using it in uh, high stakes, just so you can kind of get an idea of exactly where I am on the map and so on. Maybe switch between it in the video or put it in the corner or something. I'll think of something because it will be pretty cool to see more of the map before I hit it. So I know exactly what I'm running up to and so on. So, to just quit out of navigator mode, you can just click it again, and we're out of that, and we can freely go around again. As you can see, I'm still on the map there, uh, currently inactive in the garage. So, that's pretty much the navigation mode over. Uh, pretty much, there's not much else to uh, cover on the map itself. And now I should cover mainly the things on the Need for Speed Network. So if you go onto these tabs here, uh, there are a few things. So this is my profile. You can upload a custom picture here, uh, so whatever you want. You can see your friends. Uh, you can set, uh, set a status, status, whatever you want to call it. Activity feeds. Uh, you can see times played, top speed, estimated air time. And most of the time, these stats are probably all wrong. But uh, you can see last license plate set there. Now you can switch between tabs here. What I'm going to do is just go on this because it ends up in the same place anyway. So this has a few more options as well, so that's why I'm choosing this. So as you can see here, the playlist option. Uh, this pretty much shows you all the Overwatch playlists that you can get um, later on in the game. This is how you unlock cars and so on in Overwatch, which I will be doing more of. I just haven't done them yet, mainly because I need to start the cop career to do one of the, uh, the speed lists that we have there. Uh, if we go to recommendations... We can see auto recommends if you go on the game, they also show you on there. It's pretty much just saying uh, your top speed and so on uh, has been beaten or your, your time has been beaten. And you can pretty much set a waypoint or show it on the map to uh, give you where it is. And then you can set a waypoint from there as well and beat it. Um, what else we got then? So we've also got the activity feed, which pretty much just shows you the activity feed. If people have been sending helicopters after you like this guy has, uh, I avoided them. <laughs> and uh, if you've added friends and so on. And obviously you can see your ranks there at the top as well, just in case you didn't notice that already. Uh, as I said, friends list here. Uh, you can accept and decline friends. I always accept on the Need to Network, so if you want to add me on Origin, add Black Panther. And... Then we go to stats and progression. This pretty much shows you all of your stats. Uh, so level 50, um, you know, kilometers an hour, uh, how many, how much air time you've got, and just pretty much all the stats you'd ever want to know uh, about Need for Speed Rivals. And you obviously go to the specific categories. So you can go to racer, see how many speed points you've got, events played, time played, completion, all that malarkey. <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you need to see. I haven't started the cop career, as I said, yet, so uh, that's why it's a bit blank. So if we go back then, um, 
once again, there's filters here if you want to have a look at uh, uh, the map. This will also help you with, uh, obviously, finding things that you haven't done and so on as well. Uh, so I could kind of click that and you can only see things you haven't completed, which I've completed everything. Uh, not collected, we could do that. Um, there we go. That, most of that stuff's going to be the cop career. And we can show only autolog recommends as there. There's just a few combos that you can mainly do. You can disable cop events and disable specific events to only show specific ones, I guess you could say. Now, uh, they, the cop ones I haven't done, as I said, and if you go to Rivals Comparison, this will get pretty much your, your best friend, um, the most competitive friend you have on your friends list on the whole of the Need3 network. They don't have to be on the uh, the PlayStation 4, depending on whatever platform you're on. They could be on pretty much everything, and it shows you in red what races they own, what races you own. As you can see, I have the majority of them. Uh, but that's because I play this game quite a lot, especially for YouTube. Uh, he's beating me in jumps, and he's also beating me in speed zones because I can't find that bloody last one. <laughs> you can see total airtime, drift distances, all that good stuff that you'll ever want to see, ever. I mean, I don't really know what else you'd want to see. And uh, there's all that, and obviously he's going to absolutely destroy me on the cop side because I haven't even started that yet. Now, I guess we should get onto the meat of Overwatch. Now, what you can do here, if I go back to my world, what we could do is go on the filter and disable all of them. And what you will see on the map is there are people driving around. So this is inactive me. This is, uh, this guy has Overwatch disabled, and you'll see why in a minute, because I've got it disabled as well. Uh, this guy is in a pursuit. And I believe if they have green on them, they're doing a vent as well. You can click on them to get some more details. You can see how much nitrous and health, uh, if they, what pursuit tech they've got. And there's also a big button here that says Overwatch. Or you can click it at the side there. So if we click on, let's have a look at this guy. He's doing pretty well. Let's just go on this guy right here. Okay, so I'm currently level 50 on Overwatch, that is the max level that you can get on Need Speed Rivals' is Overwatch mode, and it's pretty much now locked onto that guy. I'm locked onto him, and he is about to become my victim. I will show you that why now. So, as you can see at the sides here, we've got some uh, current ability levels and so on. This is basically the uh, progression side, it tells you what you uh, have available to use and so on. And I'm sorry, Mr. Slick Reactions. Hopefully your reactions are actually slick because I'm going to be doing some nasty things to you. So let's see. Uh, I could send a helicopter after him, which uses 16 fuel, roadblock 14 fuel, jammer. We can take or give nitrous, um, repair or damage, or take or give ammo. So this is good if you're looking to help your friends on Need for Speed Rivals or ruin their lives. <laughs> they could be literally dead and you could literally take all their pursuit tech off them and literally destroy them and make them lose all of those lovely speed points that they just earned. So on the side here we have missions and basically you can do missions to pretty much get XP over time. So these are one-off things and when you run out of fuel obviously that's it. Whereas these you can start it and leave it overnight, wake up and you've got more of that stuff. When you've completed it there's no other way to earn fuel except by using this one. So that's the only one I actually ever use now. So, not that I use this often anyway. <laughs> So then, let's uh, do some damage. So if we then call a roadblock on him, as you can see, the helicopter is now after him there. That's quite new, actually. Didn't used to show the helicopter. And if I set a roadblock on him, there you go, set the roadblock on the road there. If I put a jammer on him, that's jammed him. As you can see, he slowed down quite a bit there. <laughs> I can then take his NOS, so you'll see the NOS go down in a second. I'll, dis I'll uh, damage his car slightly as well. There you go and I'll take some of his ammo. So I did quite a bit of damage there, uh, as you can see. It did say fail to deplete nitrous then, but it obviously didn't do that. Uh, it didn't fail at all. But as you can see, it's quite fun to literally just watch over people and ruin their lives. If they were on the brink of about to kind of get a decent amount of speed points and so on, of your friends say that they are, you could literally just hop onto this and find them and ruin their lives. So I'm guessing that guy is his friend or someone that he kind of knows and so on. 
So this guy, as you know, he's just joined, it, gone into the garage. But just to say sorry to this guy, I'm going to repair his car, give him some ammo. I would give him some more NOS, but he doesn't actually need it. You can give more than you take with most of these, because that makes more sense. Uh, so if you're kind of playing the game and, and you want to help your friends, then I highly recommend you do this, because it, well, it's very helpful to them. So if I collect my reward now, pretty much fills it back up, and I'm going to start that again so we can do that again in the future. So very quickly want to show you one last thing if I close out of Overwatch I'm no longer in Overwatch I'm pretty much just back in the mode where we can look around the map at events and so on so if I put the events back on there. Uh, what you can do if your friends are playing the game I currently don't have friends playing the game and you can't see them on the map you can actually click them on the list here and it'll go directly to that person. Now, one thing about Overwatch is that it's not going to let you uh, go on to... Say you're on the PlayStation 4 version of the game, I don't believe you can Overwatch anyone on the PC version. So you have to own the specific copy of that, but what you can do is still compare stats with the people that don't have your version to uh, clear that up. So here we go, we've got another guy here, he's currently called Rival, and this guy is just gone to his garage I'm assuming. Nope, there we go, where's he going? Overwatch disabled, he's got Overwatch disabled, he's smart. I recommend you actually be able to turn it off unless you uh, want idiots attacking you every five minutes. But uh, yeah, let's go on to Overwatch this guy and we'll get his name. And his name is Elite Swag, so I'm just going to literally take away as much as I possibly can and send Roblox and everything after him just to uh, give you another demonstration of how much fun you can have with literally ruining their lives. Lots and lots of fun. So there's the, uh, the the timer running there, just so you can see that. Uh, see how long it takes to do. This takes a bit longer than a lot of the others, but obviously, obviously because it refuels your fuel, fuel completely. But that is pretty much Overwatch. Uh, it's a pretty good feature. I mean, it doesn't really take away or add too much of the experience. It can be quite annoying at times. Uh, especially when the your friends are just in the mood for ranking up on this and they can literally do damage to you just for the fun of it because they want to level up or something. It's not very nice a lot of the time, but uh, it is a lot of fun to do it to other people. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing. Uh, one thing that kind of annoyed me is I kind of max ranked this Within, I don't know, a day or two, I pretty much had everything I needed from Overwatch. And all I need to do now is pretty much do the uh, cop career and the speed list for the cop side and so on. Uh, so the extra playlist that we get through uh, doing this. But yeah, he's going to have a bit of a harder time now. He's in a pursuit and we've done quite a bit of damage to him. Uh, one thing that I would lo really like in the next uh, future update or on the next version of this would be uh, having to be able to display the repair shops and stuff on the map as well while you're watching them because I want to know when they're about to try and repair themselves see if I'm wasting my time or not. So I mean, I'm still getting speed points but it's not doing anything to my rank as I said because I'm already max rank which is level 50 which is kind of weird because racer and cops I believe are level 61 uh, maximum and there you go he's just repaired himself so uh, let's just give him some stuff and then be off with it I guess. So that is pretty much Overwatch guys, hopefully this video was helpful to you or useful in some way or somewhat and uh, hopefully it's uh, not been too long because it's actually been quite a bit longer than I expected it to do but I wanted to cover literally everything if you want to see anything else about Need Speed Rivals make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be one of the first to let you know. I know this is coming late but I wanted to give you an in-depth thing and I was going to wait till the cop career but I decided to just stop it and go out with it anyway. I will see you in the next video guys, thank you for the support as always, peace.